Aaron, you put our book online without my permission. I don't need your permission. There is no experimental backing for anything in that book, and it makes me look like a crazy person. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I've heard terrible things about you. <laughs> ha. Holtzman works with me in the lab. She's a brilliant engineer and very loyal. She would not abandon you. Okay, you know what? I thought we could have an adult conversation, but apparently we can't. Aaron, if you really don't believe in this stuff anymore, why were you looking for the book? A man came to see me at my work saying his building was haunted. What building? The Aldridge Mansion. It's obviously a joke. Oh! <sighs> Abby, wait! Hey, taxi! Hey, hey, Abby! Come on! Please, Abby, just take the book down. Please. All right, all right. But you have to introduce us to this guy at the Aldridge Mansion. Yes, of course. Excuse me! Excuse me! We're not open. Can I help you? Yes, hi. We're looking for Ed Mulgrave. I wanted to, uh, introduce the hi people. Hi there. But Ed, Ed Mulgrave died 15 years ago. Ed's a ghost! <laughs> so... So who is this? Well, that's Ed's son. Ed Jr. Okay, that's obviously who I meant. Well, how about you take us across the street? I gotta get in there, set up. Let's go on a tour. You're gonna die in there. Strange reading here. It is a fantastic book, Ooh. you know? That's why people were interested in talking about it on television. It was on a college channel at the University of Michigan. You didn't even show up. I just got tired of being called crazy. <gasps> you okay? No, I'm good. Thank you for asking. Huh? I didn't even know it did that. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? The basement door is open. Hmm. Class 4 apparition. Just be cautious. It's okay. She seems peaceful. I'll tell you what just happened. We saw a ghost. We saw a ghost. We saw a ghost. We saw a ghost. Ghosts are real. Ghosts are real. We saw a ghost and the ghosts were real. Ghosts are real. Ghosts are real. I believe in ghosts because I just saw one. They're real. Trust in your abilities and the universe shall bend before your will. Hey, weirdo, we got a clogged toilet in 1843. Absolutely. Nothing would make me happier. Uh. Aaron, we're sorry that you lost your job, but there has to be a glasses half full aspect of it. I mean, we saw a real ghost, and she was beautiful. Till she dislocated her jaw and ecto-projected all over you. Okay, we are on the cusp of something here. A real discovery. Unlike your university, this institute is 100% behind us. Really? We just have to go upstairs and ask for more money. Come on, I, I think we can really do this. We can become the first scientist to prove the existence of the paranormal. Hey, there's the Aaron I remember. Welcome back. Me and Slim will go liberate some more equipment. I'll go find a sweet new base of operations. I've got some fantastic properties lined up for you today. The first one is an old firehouse just a few blocks from here. Shall we? 
This beautiful firehouse was converted to a loft in 2010. The spacious interior would be perfect for heavy duty equipment, and the monthly rent is only a modest 99 billion studs. How much? Lady, we're scientists, not millionaire movie stars or video game developers. Everyone loves a fixer-upper. We'll take it. <sighs> it's a dump. Nothing a lick of paint and 30 gallons of industrial bleach won't fix. Cataclysm begins, laborers such as yourself will be among the last led to the butchery. So, make the most of your extra time. You are just a bundle of joy, ain't you? You have a good day with your crazy self. Wow, I wonder what train he taking. Is he going on the tracks? Oh, man. Hey, uh... I'm here about the receptionist job. <laughs> You're hired. <laughs> cool. Oh, uh, ma'am? Hi, ma'am. If you're waiting for takeout, you should really wait downstairs. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's the, the magazine was here, so I, I, I don't know. I just thought that might be your waiting room. Also, um, I got chased by a ghost. <laughs> Queens, he's going to be the third scariest thing on that train. I almost got killed. Yeah, I know. It was so awesome. All right, well, what do you think? It's just a lot of bits and pieces. I'm pretty sure none of it's supposed to be in the subway, though. What's that weird thing the guy said to the lady from the subway? Fourth cataclysm. I'm joining the club. The thing is, this isn't uh, really a club. It's a scientific research group. And I understand that. But let me tell you something. I read a lot of nonfiction. And you guys are really smart about this science stuff, but I know New York. You're in. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool, thanks, boy. Ah, uh, the Stonebrook Theater? There's a goat on the loose. I'm gonna load up the car. Ghostbusters. Yes, we're the Ghostbusters. Hmm. Mm. Class three? Mm, possibly a class four paper. Anyway, if you just mosey around, you'll probably bump into it. Huh. All right. 
Well, we know it's down here somewhere. Let's split up, and if you see anything, get on the walkie. Yeah, yeah. We put a ghost in a box. <laughs> Dr. Hives, hello, welcome. Welcome to our laboratory. Is now a bad time? Actually, it is. Why don't you call and make an appointment? Um, it's actually a perfect time. We just uh, take uh, took uh, took a break. Um, did you have a seat right there? Let's start light and easy. So why are you pretending to catch ghosts? Oh, I think you should see it. Okay, and you're, you're gonna risk it for him, for that guy? Who cares if he's impressed? Come on! Oh, what a shame. We're showing him. No! <laughs> Well, it has been a real pleasure getting to meet you and and learn about your work. That's gonna leave a bruise. We gotta get it back. Let's split up. Walkie if you see anything. And if we see any other ghosts, be sure to bag them. All right, I would like to remind everybody here that in a very short amount of time, we have seen multiple Class 4 malevolent apparitions. He's using the devices to charge the ley lines. He's, he's creating a, a vortex. Okay, if he gets one of his machines in there, and it's big enough, he's gonna be able to rip a hole right through that barrier. Okay, what is there now? The Mercado. Guys! This is the dude that was at the subway that was talking about the cataclysms. This is him. Ladies, let's gear up and hit that Mercado. Right. 
right there. I know you're having a ball bringing all these ghosts into New York, but the thing is, we happen to like this world the way it is. Then you must have been afforded the basic dignity and respect of a human being, which I have been denied. <laughs> Luckily, I am not the only one seeking revenge. When these barriers are destroyed, an army of the undead will return to pester the living. Pester the living doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> to pester the living with unspeakable pain and torment. I think the word we're looking for is apocalypse. Apocalypse. Shut it down. Wait, wait, wait! Whoa! Stop what you're doing! Police are already on their way. It's over. You're going to jail, Rowan. Well, in that case... Bye. That's a weird move. See if you can shut that thing down. Okay. Well, that's over. Man, it smells like burnt bologna and regrets down here. I'm sorry for the mess and for the drama. Please, come sit down. We are going to have to make the public believe that you are frauds. What? The human brain, you know, it can only handle so much. If, if, if everybody knew what was going on, you know, there'd be a panic. What? These gentlemen are on it. Let the government do their work. Thank you all so much for coming. It's fraudulent and unsafe, frankly. You know, these Ghostbusters are are creating an unnecessary panic and a sad grab for fame. Uh, they, they're painting us as delusional frauds. Man, forget them dudes, Aaron. You need to shake it off. You know how many people you saved? Yeah, let's go out, get something to eat. <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Your sandwich. Come and get your sandwich, please. You want your little sandwich, Abby? Hello, Abby. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Quite well. What are you doing? You my baby. Ooh. Hello, Patricia. Get out of my front! Go! Ghostbuster, all right? And nothing's gonna stop me. That's so not good. Thanks for the upgrade. Zap that slimy freak. Yo, that's one creepy weird parade. 
I just made eye contact. All right, let's pop some balloons. Holtzman, you just had to make eye contact, didn't you? I didn't mean to. Sorry to let you down. Did you just use a pun? Yes, I did. I was just waiting for the right time to use that bad boy. Here comes another attack. There. We need to blast off those weakened areas. Chance. Blast it with everything you've got. Balloon Bonanza is getting out of hand. I can't reach the trigger. This is exactly how I pictured my death. Huh. Surprisingly prone to sharp objects. Miss me? Well, come back. Am I shouting? Okay. Let's go save this city and get our terrible receptionist back. We aren't going to find another one that pretty. A thing of beauty. Oh. Ah! Mm. Huh. Ah! Oh, you want some? <laughs> Time to bust some ghosts. Everybody, there's no need to worry. We have this under control. <sighs> Hello. Oh, dear brave men and women of the protection services industry. I would like to see you dance. the Ghostbusters. Let's give them a proper New York welcome, shall we? Welcome to the glory days of New York City. Have fun! <laughs> Take it up again. didn't know any of you when you were alive because I don't enjoy any of you especially you let's we gotta save our energy come on
too much. name is. Seem more like a chet to me. He's all yours. What form would you prefer I take? Well, I tell you what I prefer. I prefer something nice and cute like a friendly little ghost. Is this what you want? Something more familiar? Thank you very much for being reasonable. Uh, <laughs> this isn't good. Of small and friendly, did he not understand? Run, run! to reverse the portal. It's gonna take an insane amount of energy. Yo, what about that nuclear thing on top of the car? If we can get those reactors super critical inside the vortex, the theta radiation could 180 the polarity. It'll turn that portal into a giant ghost trap. Nice thinking, Patty. Let's 
twice. We need that rope. It's our ticket out of here. Looks like it's just me and you, Aaron. Like back in the day. Looks like Mercado again, but a lot creepier. <laughs> Patty's uncle is gonna be so mad at her. a minimalistic look. It's like it's us versus him to get to that rope. Was that it? Yeah, you did it. <laughs> we all did it. That's right. We all did it. <laughs> in the aftermath of the events, authorities are still trying to understand what happened in Times Square and throughout the city. The big question is, was it the four women who refer to themselves as Ghostbusters who actually supported the attack? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. We want to thank you. Actually, we'd like you to continue to study this subject. Fully funded. You know, we need to be better prepared, just in uh -huh. case. Whatever you need going forward. Anything at all. Huh? Anything? Oh, now we are talking! Second floor is mine. You can't claim a whole floor. Oh, oh. I just did. Not bad, Ghost Girl. Thank you, and I proudly take that title. <laughs> mm. Hey, who cut something out of my paper? Yellow. Oh, hi, Lenny. No, why would I need a ride this afternoon? 
If it was big and annual, I'm sure they'd have mentioned it in the newspaper. Yeah, it's a lazy dog dangling afternoon. But something's a little off. Ooh. I gotta get some fresh air. What's that smell? Onions? Chili powder? Cumin? Juicy ground chuck? It's chili! Oh my god, I'm missing a chili cook-off! What's happening to me? Man, this is crazy. I hope I didn't brain my damage. Okay, retrace your steps. Woke up, fought with Marge, ate Guatemalan insanity peppers, then I... Oh... Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset. Note to self, stop doing anything. Hey, buddy, get back there with the other rocks. Huh? A tortoise? Follow the... <gasps> this must be why I'm here. Follow the what? Follow the what? Hurry up. Go! Get moving, you stupid... When I'm kicking you, that means hurry up! Come on! Oh, you want me to climb that, huh? No problemo! Sanity peppers, I'm way ahead of you. No, I speak of a deeper wisdom. The problem, Homer, is that the mind is always chattering away with a thousand thoughts at once. Yeah, that's me, all right. You must find your soulmate. Soulmate? Your kindred spirit. The one with whom you share an unspoken bond. Hey, wait! Come back! It's so little time to get out of the way. No, that's... No, none! Ah! Ow! Well, golf course. Maybe the desert was just the sand trap. Wherever my soulmate is, it's not here. Well, I 
give up. Huh? What's that blinking light? <gasps> the lighthouse keeper! The loneliest man in the world! He'll understand me! Earl. My new friend's name is Earl. search for a soulmate has yielded a lighthouse keeping robot. Oh, wow. Alone. I'm alone. I'm a lonely, insignificant speck on a has-been planet orbited by a cold, indifferent sun. Coyote! Ah! Ah! 